Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 12th, 2021. Well, yesterday we saw just another light, choppy day. Um, there really was no fear or very little fear that cropped up in the market, but unfortunately we left behind a little bit of uncertainty on these um, on the uh, index charts. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink and let's settle in and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Looking at the charts this morning, everyone, we have just a little bit of a, well, an uncertainty starting to show up in the index charts. If we take a look here, we're still holding trend. There's nothing wrong with trend. Support levels are still holding, but we have turned in a couple of hanging man type patterns at, um, and hanging man patterns can often signal a top. Now, I would also have to suggest that there's just a little bit of confusion here because even though this was a bit of a hanging man, notice that the head of that did not um, break down below the head of this one. So what that is really suggesting is, is really more consolidation and choppiness. And that may not be an unusual situation as we head into a three-day weekend. So this is one of those great weekends coming up where we've got three days, albeit very, very cold weekend across most of the country. We may actually see the indexes struggle with a little bit of momentum um, today. We have a light economic calendar. We have a rather light earnings calendar today. So we may struggle with that. And I wouldn't rule out the possibility that we could see a little bit of light profit taking coming into play um, just to reduce risk heading into the weekend. Now, looking at the chart, you can see we have uh, plenty of room for us to pull back and really hold on to trend and some support levels, particularly if we use this as support. So we have plenty of room for a little rest or pullback if that were to occur. Um, and no harm, no foul will come to those charts. But be a little bit careful today in buying anything because I think we could see a very light choppy day as traders head out early for the long weekend. So um, watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also left behind just a little bit of a, hmm, a um, little bit of pause. Maybe it's nothing more than just a little lack of momentum as the, uh, the long weekend approaches, and that's possible. But notice we just have a little bit of indecision up here on uh, the price action of the chart. Here in the last few minutes, we've actually seen the bulls trying to push up the indexes here a little bit as we react to some earnings news and things like that. We only have you know, consumer sentiment on the calendar today. So not a whole lot for the market to really respond or at, react to. So let's just watch that closely. And again, maybe, maybe be cautious because there could be kind of a light day um, ahead of us as, you know, traders pack up and, and hit the road early to take advantage of that long weekend. Let's take a look at the queues. Now, QQQ ended up holding up rel relatively well, just leaving a indecisive doji candle there yesterday after that hanging man top uh, type pattern. So really no harm, no foul here. Again, our trend is remaining bullish. We're still holding above um, support levels in the chart and we still, even if we get a little bit of selling, I don't see it as being an ugly thing so just watch that close and then iwm taking a look at it now iwm struggled just a little bit more yesterday but by the end of the day we saw a little bit of pushback here um, unfortunately that still left a tiny little follow through here where we closed the head of that candle just below here there may be just a little bit of rest going on in those financials and um, oil sector stocks and struggling just a little bit here 
on that IWM with momentum. But notice we've got some support in this area. We've got trend. So even if we rest or pull back, I don't think that's a major problem at all. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at some indicators, it would suggest that is needed. Let's take a look at the VIX. Whoops. The VIX um, showed a little bit of rest in here yesterday. There was a uh, one point in time we started to perk up here just a little tiny bit. As a matter of fact, um, just heading into the weekend, I took a hedge. Um, and I'm just working to hedge my account for a possible weekend um, event and um, took a hedge in the VXX. But right now there's really no fear showing up here in the market. I think what we're just experiencing is kind of a market resting a little bit after such a big rally and um, still anticipating the $1.9 trillion stimulus plan. No one really seems to want to sell just yet. But don't be surprised if we do get a little bit of profit taking heading into the weekend. So keep an eye on that. I really think the VIX needs to break down. We really should be breaking down. We need to be a lot lower than we are considering um, the new record highs that we've been making. But so far, we haven't been able to break down through that support. So just keep a close eye on it. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. And this one still gives me some concern. Although we did get a little bit of a pullback yesterday and that opens up you know, the door for a possible upside move here, as you can see, we still have a considerable space down here and heading into a long weekend, I don't want to rule out the possibility that we could just see some modest or light profit taking heading into um, that long weekend. But keep an eye on that. I think the the um, the stimulus plan is going to largely hold everything up. Um, I don't unless we start breaking some support levels or seeing trends giving up. Don't think we have a major problem here, but. It also would not be a surprise to see, to see just a little bit more of a pullback or profit-taking wave coming in. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar has a, we have just have a really light day today. Um, move this over here, there we go. And as you can see here on the calendar, we have consumer sentiment and certainly that can move the market around depending on how that comes in, but it's not one of those that we normally see as a big market mover. So just keep an eye on that. We've got a couple of Fed speakers that are gonna be out there yakking away. So unlikely we learn anything new. Um, once again, I think there's a high probability of kind of a light and choppy day as um, traders pack it up and, and extend their long weekend. Let's take a look at our economic calendar, or earnings calendar. And for those of you that it's been a pretty long list of um, notable earnings and today that's not going to be the case we only have about 40 companies um, even on the list to report today and a rather light day and, and not really the kind of companies that i would suggest are market movers um, when they report but they are notable let's take a look at a couple of those um, d d dominion will be reporting today so um utilities um, not likely to really move the market a bunch. You can see this has been way down. If that could perk up a bit, um, that might be a good sign if we can start to see some of those utilities come around. But um, again, not likely a big market mover. Um, ENB, whoops, ENB. ENB will be reporting today. And you can see this has been in a nice a little upside trend. Nice little peak and valley pattern, breaking through some resistance levels back here in the past, holding up nicely. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, might be an important uh, chart today. Um, FTS, FTS um, on the list. Once again, another utility. Uh, these aren't going to really garner a whole lot of headline attention or really make markets move a lot. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, MCO, MCO reporting today. Now Moody's does have the tendency from time to time to uh, get things moving. But lately, as you can see, Moody's has just been a, a dead stock, just kind of chopping in a range. So probably not going to be a market mover. Um, NWL may be our 
biggest um, notable for today. Um, as you can see, this has been in a tremendous upside trend. And it looks like this morning getting a little bit of a pullback. Now, that may be the result of that earnings report. Watch that closely. As long as it holds trend, I think it's in good shape. But just keep a close eye on it. And last but not least is WPC. That's uh, what I have on the list today for potential notables. And this is a real estate investment trust. Again, not likely to really move the market a ton today. So um overall probably expect kind of a light and choppy day um, um in the market it may be a good day to uh take off early and get any honeydew list that you've got to get done for the day rather than watching the market kind of grind around let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos you know the purpose of these videos are to avoid the hype the drama to really take a look at the price action and the technicals and try to determine how we might want to approach the market for today so for example what i'm seeing is that possibility we could have a very light and choppy day which means to me uh, not a not really the best day to maybe be buying up positions it may be a good day to take some profits maybe a good day to bank a little bit of gains heading into the long weekend and if you guys find that kind of information helpful if you could click that um, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow and also please feel free to share these videos out there on social media and I want to say thanks to everyone you guys have been so kind to me and and uh, I truly truly appreciate it I'm humbled by the comments you guys are awesome thank you so much um, I truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up and remember that when I talk about stocks in these videos it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security um, as a matter of fact it is um, uh, my recommendation that everyone does their own due diligence make sure you check these charts out um, carefully make sure they fit your tolerance for risk if you agree with the analysis before making any trade never blindly follow anyone else's um, analysis of a chart let's take a look at a few charts NNDM now NNDM I held this and I decided yesterday I just went ahead and closed it there is, I had a little teeny tiny profit in the trade there's nothing wrong with this chart but I went ahead and closed it I just wanted to reduce some risk heading into the weekend I thought I was holding just a little too much risk and I've been mentioning um, you know to, to everyone to be cautious not to over trade um, the current market condition and I felt like maybe I was just a little bit too long the market so I closed this trade for a small profit yesterday but there's nothing wrong with this chart as this continues to set up in here holding up nicely we just need a little bit of spark of bullishness I'm not sure we're going to get that today but keep this chart on your list and watch it and I won't rule out the opportunity to maybe trade this again here soon so keep an eye on it NNDM looking pretty good take a look at NIO now NIO um, really starting to shape up here as a more upside uh, possibility in this chart notice that we're running up in this nice little trend we've got this break of the downtrend we had a nice little pop through there and now we're just doing this nice little modest rest to pull back to try and prove that we can hold this area as support so we got a little price support in here I think what we need to be watching for is that next possible bullish candle showing us that the bulls are going to step in here and go ahead and extend um, this um, beautiful upside trend in this chart go ahead and extend it on higher so watch NIO carefully it is setting up maybe might be getting ready to go take a look at this jima jima has been on my list for a while it's been just kind of you know marking time chopping sorry sideways here moving over toward its trend now that we're reaching that trend area and you can see a beautiful upside trend now that we're reaching that trend area i want to be watching this pretty closely for that opportunity that this could just pop on through and extend on higher so keep an eye on um, this chart it may be one that you want to um, just have on a list 
take a look at Etsy. Etsy setting up nicely here. Etsy's been in a, well, it's been on a tear this year to the upside, moving up strongly. And now we broke through this resistance level and we're just kind of resting up here. Just kind of taking a little siesta break and maybe building some energy in here for that next leg higher. As long as we hold this support and we continue to hold here on this trend, I want to be watching this. And you can see I've placed an alert right here on that pink line, I'm looking for that opportunity if Etsy finishes finishes up that little consolidation and then pops through. So watch that closely on Etsy. Take a look at some of these little retailers. Little retailers were having a pretty good day yesterday. They ended up having just a little bit of back and forth, um, but and that's just due to the softness in the market. But take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's breaking through this resistance level, as you can see in this chart. We've got some resistance up here in price action, just congestion in that price action that may challenge that. But I've been watching this one pretty closely. I like the way it's holding in here. Now, I can't tell you where we will engage that next trend, if it's going to be here or if it's out here with a little bit more rest. I don't know. But keep a close eye on that. What we see right now is at least, at least no one wants to sell this off below that support level. Everyone seems to be pretty happy to hold here. So watch for that next opportunity for that maybe to pop on higher and move on up. Several others in that sector would be like AEO. Um, AEO showed, whoops, AEO um, tried to move up yesterday and then that little volatility in the market pullback early morning um, settled this back down. But notice here's another one of those breakouts trying to show signs of upside move and um, holding nicely in this trend. So all we, all we need to do is watch and wait for that next upside pop, and that could be on its way. Take a look at Solo. Now Solo, I've been watching closely, and it's just struggling in here a little bit with this, um, this support level and consolidating area. A little bit longer rest, and that may be just a function of the market kind of slowing down here just a little bit heading into the, the weekend. But let's keep an eye on this still. Although we've pulled back a little bit more than I would like to have seen, we're still holding in this support area in this chart and that opportunity that this could still pop on through. But having said that, it's also in that position where we could quickly and easily drop through um, that area. So don't anticipate a trade like that. Wait for that buy signal to show itself. Um, if we continue on here, taking a look at um, some of these little retailers, um, take a look at UAA. Now UAA is likely a bit extended here, but I hold UAA as a long term. And um, so I may have a bias on this, but take a look here how we've broken through this um, substantial area of resistance in the chart. Now, because we're so elevated here in the short run, um, I would expect this to do a bit more of consolidation where we could have this longer consolidation like we did right here. So a bit of a rest in here on that chart, but I think it might be something to keep an eye on. UAA or Under Armour, or Under Armour seems to have resolve some of their problems and maybe perking on up. Uh, keep an eye on that. Now, of course, Disney um, reported um, earnings yesterday and they just had a uh, a massive result in their streaming service. This has been kind of um, uh, anticipating that, I, I think, uh, heading into earnings, looking really, really good. Now, if this were to get any kind of a little consolidation, any kind of a little rest in here, watch for that opportunity for that next upside move um, in that chart, doing quite well overall. And staying in that kind of theme in that sector, take a look at Discovery. Discovery also doing quite well. Um, you can see where my price alert was here in the chart. We've moved on up through this price resistance. I would not rule out the possibility of a little bit of rest 
in that chart, but then keep an eye if this re-engages that trend out here, we could certainly see that moving on up. And by the way, that trend may have shifted just in a little bit. We could engage that right in this area. So watch that close. So there's a few charts for you to think about, something to mull over for the weekend. Um, I wanna wish everyone a fantastic day. Be safe out there. Boy, we're, we're gonna have a really cold snap here across most of the United States. So be safe, be careful. In your travel plans if you have any um, watch out for that COVID stuff and I want to wish you all a fantastic day um, great profits today and a wonderful wonderful weekend take care everyone and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning